It is a great satisfaction to greet you on this day, I always wish you peace and prosperity. In today's video we will discuss the following. Does your dog drag his butt against the ground? Carpet. When your dog drags his butt against the ground, it may seem like a lot of fun. If it's a one-time deal, we may not have much cause for concern. However, if your dog repeats this sliding behavior, he may have a veterinary medical condition that requires treatment. In this video, we explain why your dog rubs his butt against the carpet or the floor. We also help you know what to do once you know why this dragging behavior occurs. 1. Your butt itches. Dogs do not have flexible limbs in the same way as humans, nor do they have flexible toes on their paws. This means that they have to use other methods to manipulate their environment and even themselves. Sometimes this requires maneuvering their bodies in different ways to perform certain actions. They scratch their ears with their hind legs or bite their hind legs with their mouth to relieve itching. When it comes to their butt, dogs cannot easily reach this area with their mouths or paws. For this reason, if your butt is itchy, you will have to scratch. By rubbing their butt against the floor, they can better scratch that itch. 2. To clean up. This occurs most often in dogs with long hair. When the dog defecates, the stool may adhere to the area around the anus. This could be due to your long hair, but it can also be the result of incorrect posture when defecating or any other reason why your hygiene is not optimal. When this occurs, the dog will often try to eliminate the fecal matter. They can do this with their mouths, but if you can't reach it, gliding across the floor can help clean up. To maintain the hygiene of both the dog and our house, it is important that we inspect the dog after he has defecated to make sure he is clean. 3. Parasites. Parasitic infestation is one of the most common reasons why dogs rub their bottoms against the carpet. While it is possible the dog has external parasites on the rear, it is more likely due to intestinal parasites. To treat a parasitic infestation, the dog will need to be dewormed. This requires identifying the parasite and administering an appropriate antiparasitic treatment. This is something that a vet should do. 4. They eat something they shouldn't. Dogs can have a hard time having a bowel movement if they have eaten something they shouldn't. If a dog eats a foreign object, such as a long piece of material, it can be difficult to pass it. This can cause similar irritation and cause the dog to crawl on the ground to help relieve it. It is important to know that you should not remove material from the dog's rectum. If it is very long or large, it can damage the digestive tract. We will need to see a vet who will decide if it can be removed naturally or if it requires some help. 5. Anal glands affected. This is another of the most common reasons. Due to its presence near the anus, it is important that its hygiene is maintained. This can be difficult for some dogs, especially older dogs, who are often affected. Whether it's due to fecal matter or some other substance, your dog's anal glands can be affected. The ducts that secrete fluid from the anal sac become blocked and often begin to grow in size. This inflammation can become painful, especially if an infection of the anal gland arises. The dog may drag their butt both to relieve their pain and to help unblock the glands, something they cannot do on their own. 6. Fistula or abscess. The infection causes pus to grow that needs to leave the body, causing a fistula to form. However, perianal fistulas can occur anywhere in the area around the anus or in the anus itself. Whatever the cause of the fistula or abscess, they can be very disturbing to the dog. This can cause you to drag your butt to relieve pain and irritation. Treatment will likely also consist of antibiotics, or drainage of the abscess. 7. Poor diet. If your dog keeps sliding on the floor, it may be due to lifestyle problems, especially due to a poor diet. An insufficient diet can have several effects on a dog. If you don't get the proper nutrients, you can develop gastrointestinal problems. Overfeeding can also cause similar problems. This can lead to diarrhea that churns the dog's anus, meaning it wants to scratch on the carpet or floor to ease the itch. 8. Rectal prolapse. This happens when the rectal tissue moves from the inside of the dog's body to the outside. It can be a very painful and worrying situation for the dog. Other reasons why a dog rubs his butt against the carpet. Although we have covered the most important factors above, there are other reasons why a dog may drag its butt on the ground. If they have a traumatic injury to the perianal area, it can cause discomfort. They can try to alleviate this discomfort by dragging their butt across the floor. Also, if the dog has a tumor on the skin around its perianal area, it can cause it to move for similar reasons. If we are unsure of the cause of why a dog is rubbing its butt against the carpet, we should take it to a vet for proper diagnosis and treatment. Develops your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate bad behavior and create the obedient, well-behaved pet of your dreams. 
hit the instant access button below right now and start your journey to a having an amazing obedient, highly intelligent dog today. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, and share the video, you are very well, thank you.